maybe the Val <laughs> Kilmer and George Clooney mixed. Oh, that's what this oh. Jack Daniels Rye oh. is to me in Batman terms. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to Another Proof. My name's Ian, I'm here with Daryl and Dave, and we're going to be checking out some Jack Daniels Rye. Mr. Jack Daniels! Let's do this! That was Dave. He forgot to introduce himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Mr. Jack Daniels. I'm Daryl. Thanks for joining in, listening along. Watch us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, whatever your choice is, follow along at Northern Proof. Yes, and Dave, you just gave a very animated face. Oh, I jumped right into it. I just wanted to smell it. I just wanted to, let's get into the whiskey. Let's jump quick. Let's get into Mr. Jack Daniels Rye. I don't yes. like, Jack Daniels is a huge name in whiskey. It's so well known. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they had a, a rye. Um, the rye is actually pretty new in the, okay. grand, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, and they have a barrel proof rye, which I would love to try. I don't even want a bottle. Just a mm. sample would be nice, but I doubt we'll pr- we'll end up seeing it. All right, what's this sitting at? I'm s- like forty. I don't know. Forty-seven. Did you guess forty-seven? Right yeah. on, Dave. Yeah, totally. That's <laughs> right on the money. So we got a, a Jack Daniel's single barrel rye, uh, one of the like better bottles in the game. Oh, I love their these their single, single barrel, barrel bottles. bottles are pretty stellar. And they come in a nice box as well. There's also a dump date on it. So this is 9-21-19. So I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. Uh, no. That's not picking up at all. No. Um, but it, on the neck label or neck collar, I guess they call it, There's um, it says the barrel number as well as the bottling date. Yeah, so on the other side blank. should be the Rick House. Uh, the Rick House is L23. And then I, I, this one's signed by Jack Daniels himself. Ooh. You believe that? That is incredible. <laughs> Actually, it was back it was, it, from the grave. It was Mr. Arnett, not Jack Daniels, but still, he, he's not so there the, anymore. But, anyways. So the bottle I, I cashed I, in was 1906612. This is great content. <laughs> the one that I have is 1906581. And the one that I have is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, it was more out of curiosity for me because, and you're going to have to cut this all out. Oh, the LCBO get almost all the same barrel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can tell by the dump date when you go, like, when you, so I would open the packages because I was, it was close to Bryce's birthday, my daughter, when she was born. I was like, they come in these nice boxes. I'm like, screw it. I'm opening all the boxes, like looking at dump dates because I was trying to find her birthday. I never did. Oh, that's but, cool. Yeah, I never did find it, but still, I looked. I and, like that uh, idea. Are you starting a new Blanton's trend? Single oh, barrel rye I, dump dates for birthdays? I, I was looking for anything with a dump date. So Evan Williams, uh, Evan Williams, what is it? Single barrel. Evan Williams. Uh, Evan Williams single barrel has the bottled date as well as the barrel date on it, which is pretty cool. So you could like if if you find one that's eight years old, or if you have a special date eight years ago, maybe you can find one of those. Oh, um, cool. The Jack Daniels has when it was bottled. The Blantons has when it was bottled. The Henry McKenna has when it was bottled. So there's a bunch of different bottles out there if you're looking for dates for a special occasion. But um, I haven't been able to find one for my myself. Now you're going to get me hunting because my son is eight. So if I can find his birthday, yeah. anybody can find me on October 13th. You better. October 13th? Yeah. yeah. Only crazy, but I'm getting a little lavender on the nose. Lavender. Lavender. Oh, I don't. Not, I, I get don't banana know. bread. I don't get oh, banana really? at all. No. Neither do I. Yeah. Um, I get banana bread. So floral. I get pure floral. I don't know what lavender specifically smells like. Neither but, do I, but it's a word that I knew, so I thought I'd sound smart saying it. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't matter because if you can, if you sell, it's like I get lavender on this. Yeah. Like, yes, me too. It's so great. <laughs> yeah, none of us, like, none of us took that bite though, and yeah. <laughs> went in different directions. 
Uh, floral and fl- Ryan. Uh, pure floral. I don't get any banana on it. Uh, it's a weird floral to me as well. Like, so Jack Daniels rye, I don't know the mash bill, but I know it's not high, like 100% rye. I'm pretty sure it's in the 50s, maybe low 60s uh, rye content. So there's still a lot of corn in there. I think. (laughs) But uh, yeah, on the nose, I'm not like... People are jumping for these bottles like uh, the the barrel picks of them i get it if you get a good barrel pick with people that you know picked it it's going to be good but everything that i've come across jack daniels wise i haven't been blown away by it. i have a barrel proof and i'm i'm not stoked with it uh this rye I, the first time i poured it i'm like nope not for me like just instantly like the very first pour i was like no not not doing it but I have, I have some friends that are just going nuts for this stuff. So I like it. I like the you? nose on it. Yeah. yeah. Daryl Daryl loves the the Jack Daniels rye. Loves it. That bottle disappeared pretty quick. Yeah. That's a good whiskey though. I mean, it, like, that's decent. I don't know what the the price ticket is on this. It's to warrant it, sixty but bucks. I think sixty, 60 bucks. bucks. Yeah. That's a yeah, good sixty dollar rye then. Oh really? I would buy that. Okay. I like it. It's got a good nose to it. I could use like a little bit deeper flavoring, but it's, it's good. It's, it's a mellow. Fun. It's a mellow rye. Ian, you you like you've said before in previous episodes is you like the rye to punch you in the face. Mm. There, there's a weird thing on the palate. I think it's floral on the palate that I'm getting, mm. and I don't like that. Like it's it's not sharp, it's super mellow, but it's like a floral, like weird, mm-hmm. like earthiness. Maybe it uh, it feels young to me. I think it's young rye, like a it, green. It's got that distinct Jack taste in there that it's very recognizable. I think if you had a single barrel, just their normal single barrel Jack, and you poured it, it's that with rye in it. Yeah, I'm smelling just... honey too, even. Ian painted a picture one day when we were mm. going through one of them. I'm going to paint you a little picture now. Do it up. You are, it's a beautiful spring day. It has just rained and the, the sun has come out and you can see the mist and the fog coming up over the meadow. And you frolic about into the meadow in your youthful joy and bliss. If you're listening to this on Spotify, <laughs> Dave is frolicking on camera. If, if this makes it in. Take it. This is... <laughs> and then somebody hands you a little cinnamon heart and you mm-hmm. both fall down into this meadow. Okay, have you watched Twilight? Picture the scene with Edward and Bella when they enter the beautiful meadow. Throw a little cinnamon heart in. Edward's the little cinnamon heart. And boom, Jack Daniel. I don't know if he wants to be associated Why with Why is it... Uh, Edward, that's the cinnamon heart. Oh, we all know why. Let's be real. For the fangs? <laughs> why? He's just dreamy. Everybody knows it. Don't no. deny it. He's Batman. <laughs> Honestly, he looks like he's, he's going to be a good Batman. Never, uh, I was nervous about Batman. it, but I saw the trailer for Batman, and he has gone dark for this role. I will like. say he, he'll play dark well. Yeah. I don't know if he can play Batman. He can play the dark aspects well. We'll see how he does Batman. Okay. He and I is will as say, Batman as the bat suit with nipples. <laughs> I didn't mind that. Uh, ben Affleck was a good Batman. For like a chubby Batman. Fight me. <laughs> ben Affleck. Wow. He, yeah, you know that Christian suit. Bale, I think, is my favorite did you just Did you just fat shame him? Uh... <laughs> I'm allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chubby myself, so I can. <laughs> um, Christian Bale was a fantastic Batman. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's okay, going to yeah. be like, no, Val Kilmer is. Val Jack Kilmer. Daniels was the best Batman. Okay. Val, this is the Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer of Batman. Of Batman. <laughs> That's what this is to me. Maybe the Val, <laughs> I can't even talk. Maybe the Val <laughs> Kilmer and George Clooney mixed. 
Oh, that's what this oh. Jack Daniels Rye oh. is to me in Batman terms. Okay. Yeah. Not one of your favorites. No, oh. no. I like Val Kilmer and Top Gun. You gotta love Val Kilmer. Oh, Iceman, like the the perfect antagonist. I wish the second Top Gun had not been released. delayed. Yeah, me too. Mm. I was looking forward to that. All right, let's keep <laughs> let's keep rolling. Sorry. Movies and whiskey brought to you by Northern Proof. No, 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 no. We might be onto something. Batman, right? Compare this whiskey to a movie or a trilogy. What's your best Bond then? Are you a Bond fan? I like Bonds. Ah, I'm so bad with the name of the Bond. Pierce Brosnan was like the Bond when I was growing up. That's because of Halle Berry right yes that wasn't because of pierce that was because of the age we were yes. when she was in that orange bathing, was... <laughs> orange bathing suit <laughs> <laughs> you're probably onto something there yeah I, but i think I, sean connery has got to be the most iconic uh, james bond i think daniel craig blows it away yeah he did a great job but the... sean <laughs> and connery. Uh, i think he is the bond I think he's the James Bond. If I'm going to watch a James Bond movie, it's going to be a Dan- Daniel Craig yes. flick. And this find... whiskey is the Roger Moore of <laughs> the James Bonds. Wow, that's harsh. <laughs> I don't. I think it's a lot smoother than that. <laughs> yeah, he was like... smooth, didn't do anything, wasn't action related. <laughs> it was boring as anything. I like that you don't like it, though. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't How mind you, it. Dave? I'm starting to get the banana bread that Daryl was talking about. I think as it's sitting a little bit, those flavors are starting to come out a little bit more. I get a little peanut on the uh, palate as well. Peanut, interesting. I had taquitos for dinner, so I don't know if that's throwing Ooh. off my palate. But Ooh, well, we've I'm all we've about seen Ian on Taco Bell. And no, you you ever- hold on, hold on, hold on. Taquitos. Let's go forget Taco Bell. Every <laughs> time my Eleven. wife goes to Costco, no, do you need anything? Costco. Taquitos. Yeah, Seven Eleven pack at three a.m. in the morning with those Ooh. taquitos sitting on the roller, and you're like, "I'll take four of those, please." Oh, and it's the Monterey beautiful. Jack ones, the like chicken Monterey Jack ones that have been sitting there all day, so they're like super, like they're like melting your mouth because the, there's no crunch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's soggy like the whole taquitos. soggy the whole thing's cheese it's, it's <laughs> fantastic my wife will never eat anything that i buy from a 7-eleven <laughs> i don't think i've eaten anything from a 7-eleven oh, machine no no the taquitos you gotta have it <laughs> okay i'll do taquitos uh, with you but dip your taquitos <laughs> in some queso Oh, queso all day. You cannot go wrong with a good queso. Yeah, you cannot go wrong with a bad queso. Just queso in general. (laughs) Queso, so good. Absolutely. My buddy, have you done queso on the smoker yet, Daryl? I have not. Oh, it looks Mm. so good. My buddy, uh, Corey, if you haven't checked it out, 813 Whiskey House in Kansas is doing this new thing called good booze good news and it's like yeah. a two to four minute clip where he just talks about a whiskey he's drinking and shares some fantastic positive news he posted a picture in our text thread of him doing queso on the smoker and i almost booked a ticket to kansas because <laughs> i'm sure there's some wizard of oz uh, thing i could throw in there but, yeah top your um, ruby red shoes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he uh posted this and it looks so good he gets all his cheese and then uh, a few other guys did it too daryl i'll have to hook you up with uh with the recipe yeah, let's, do you let's do a recipe, recipe on the smoker or is it like directions no it's blending it's like whiskey you're blending oh, stuff yeah. you're blending cheeses instead of whiskeys with the correct smoke notes speaking of smoked or charcoal filtered. That's what happens to this whiskey. Did you know that, Dave? I didn't. No, Daryl, do you know a little bit about the charcoal filtering process? It goes through, I believe it's 12 feet of maple charcoal filtering. That sounds delicious. So Jack Daniels created their own filtering process to create what they've now defined as Tennessee whiskey. 
Um, no, to... some bourbons do the charcoal filtering as well. Yeah. They do. Uh, but it, it's something, I think it's the amount of charcoal it's going through. It makes it the Tennessee whiskey. Uh, it's their own branding. Um, so yeah, it's through 12, I think it's 12 feet of maple charcoal whiskey or maple charcoal. Um, and then Gentleman Jack, uh, Ian, is it goes mm. through twice. So it's Gentleman Jack double mellowed. And that's what they mean by the j- double mellowed on that. I would recommend everybody try it, but I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm not going to like dive to the store for another bottle of this. Fair enough. I respect that. Yeah. I think yep. it's a good rye. I think I'm realizing I really enjoy rye. Um, yeah. I think ryes and bourbons are where I'm landing lately. Um, I just love the spiciness of a rye, the character that it leaves there. Um, it's got just like some. Oh, some did meat. you hear that? That even the cork pop sucked. Like, come mm. on, come, boom. Jack Daniels, step Maybe up. It's just, is your bottle wrong? <laughs> is my bottle wrong? No, and that your, was low your too. Your yeah. bottle, well, it's almost empty. <laughs> this, is, this is this this is the second one I. You can make through. a song. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we gotta make a song. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Um. No, yeah, just, yeah, I, I can see why you don't enjoy them as much as the other rye, uh, Ian. Uh, it doesn't have that uh, solid rye spice taste in it. Uh, for me, it's a very mellow rye. I can go out and uh, sit at a fire with this, and next thing I know, I'm four, five, six pours deep, and and uh, it's really mellow on the palate. I'm Dave, and I like a lot of things. And I'm liking this whiskey. I'm liking the rye element to it. It's got a smoky edge to it that's starting to come in off of it as it's opening up in my little glass here. Picture the meadow. Picture the floral with a little burn going. Oh, the meadow. I forgot about that. I forgot the meadow. If you remember the meadow, it changes the whole feel about the whiskey. Well, take the, the meadow and, and you think of the bee flying from flower to flower. Yes. Yeah. And, and as he's going from flower to flower, he's he's crapping on the flowers <laughs> yeah, <but> he... <laughs> that is not what bees do <laughs> that's what this whiskey is <laughs> the bee is so mad about this whiskey it is crapping on the flowers ian i like it enough that i'm still pouring out a little bit more of my sample i'm filling back up a bit all right this is a, a controversial pour that we've got today and i'm happy about that we've got something that some people like some people don't like where does it stand I like it. I'm a fan. I'm on board with this, Mr. Jack Daniels. Would I prefer another rye? Maybe. But I still think that I'm giving this the thumbs up. Uh, Daryl just said something pretty cool, too. He has another bottle that he grabbed a while ago, and he said it's completely different. And these are single barrels. So every barrel's bottled differently. And these being single barrels, you're going to get a variation on every bottle that you grab so it's worth trying it once and then maybe coming back a little later maybe your palate's changed or maybe sorry maybe my palate's changed or (laughs) maybe the barrel was different so we'll see how that goes yeah absolutely i love this rye um it's an easy one to go to especially if i'm sitting outside uh tipping the tipping a few back listen to some eric church i just i don't know there's something about it it's smooth. It's easy. Uh, it might be missing that punch in the face rye notes that you love, Ian. But I'd if rather you have a, have a grab it. punch in the face than Jack Daniels kicking my anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, sir. Well, son. Well done. And, and like we always say, share good whiskey. Let the proof do the talking. You can find us at Northern Proof on YouTube, Spotify and Google Podcasts. She is everyone. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be the first episode I actually have to mark as explicit. No, I'm (laughs) I'm beeping it. (laughs) I'm going to put Samuel L. Jackson up there. (laughs) It's like, (laughs) boom.